Good afternoon, everyone. So this week, I just started my internship. So I'm super excited. Um, like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm working for Moran Wealth Management. And I'm working with another intern and we get a whole project all to ourselves. So we have 10 weeks to solve this business question or problem or challenge. And then at the end of the 10 weeks, we get to present our solution and recommendations to the executive team. So this is a, a small company. They normally have their interns work on projects like this, and I'm just super excited to be working for them. And with my fellow intern, he's a student at Boston College, I think. No, Boston College or Boston University. But um, he's also studying economics and finance. So we're gonna be a great team. I met with him this morning and yeah, it's gonna be fun. But um, in terms of something interesting, um, I like this hat. I like hats in general, they're hard to find, but my mom got me this one a couple of years ago. Um, and it kind of has to do with what I want to show you all today. I actually collect teacups, which you might think, okay, yeah, she's a mega nerd. Um, I actually find it interesting looking at the different brands or makers and the style really looks different depending on which country the teacup was made in. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of my teacups in my collection and if you like it great, if not, um, I don't know what to say, I'm sorry, just, just something that's really cool that I think is cool. So first, and this is actually the only one I have like this. This is a Limoges teacup. So it's made in France, as you can see here. It was made in France. Um, it's super thin. And that's normally the hallmark of French teacups. They're super thin. And there's a lot of detail on the paint for this one. So I have no idea how old it is, but it is my only French piece. Really awesome. And then this, I'm sure if you've, if anyone has been antiquing, they will have seen this pattern. This is Royal Albert. It's the old country rose. One of the most famous patterns ever made. So I figured, you know what? We gotta have one of those really really beautiful so that's another one and um, that's british and then what should i do this one is german so it's a rosenthal and the rosenthal company actually no longer exists but the company that it was bought by makes uh pieces that are similar to it. So I don't know how old this one is, but it has the original Rosenthal marking, which is super cool. And it's like a white on white with rose pattern. I really like it. And then finally, this one kind of has to do with class. I like it because it has all kinds of wildlife on it. This is a Shelley, British, British made, um, and the pattern is called Woodland. So the saucer is gorgeous. Look at the trees. I love this one. So this one is British made, hand painted. My grandmother got me this for my birthday many, many years ago. So this is one of my favorites. Um, and then, I like this one because of its shape. This is also a Shelly, so it's also British. Um, and it just has different flowers on it. It's shaped like a shell though, like a seashell. And again, um, Shelly's are British made, but they're really, really thin. 
similar to Limoges. So yeah, that, those are some of my teacups in my collection. Um, I hope that you all have a really great week. I'm looking forward to see some interesting and fun facts about you all. And yeah, have a great week and have a great weekend.